Hello, my name is Jonathan and in this quick video I will show you how to tame a Dinosuchus. You can find them anywhere in the swamp area. In general, where you can find a Sarko, you could potentially find the Dinosuchus. However, they seem to be a pretty rare spawn. To tame a Dinosuchus you need to be level 70. If that is not the case you will notice this prompt on here so you are not able to tame it. And for the saddle let's have a quick look. You need to be, as you can see you need to be level 74. Luckily it is very cheap to craft. To make them spawn in fast in your world you have two options. First do a Dino Wipe. This will only destroy the wild dinos. For the second option, simply go to the swamp. Then, start to kill everything. Doing so will free up space for the dino suchus to spawn in. Try to find as many circles and capros as possible. Once you located a dino suchus that you want to tame, you might wonder, how do I tame this? To tame it, First, you need a full set of ghillie. This will make the taming process much more easy. Second, you will also need a food. For the food, you can choose between any type of meat. Raw, prime, cooked or its preferred superior kibble. However, raw or cooked mutton is still super effective to tame. So do not stress too much about kibble. Funny enough, this is a passive tame, meaning you need to place the food in the last slot of the hotbar. For the first taming option, you want to be sneaky and follow him from behind. Keep your distance and do not directly face him. When he opens his mouth, he will also make a noise. Go to his face and feed him. So, make sure that you have your food in the last slot of your hotbar. When you feed it, remember to run away, because most of the time they will chase you. And as you can see, we now have the taming process active. But there is one big issue with taming him in the wild. Basically, the dino switches will aggro on anything. And I mean anything. Taming it like this can be very tedious and slow. So I would highly recommend building a easy and quick trap like this, which I will show you how to in just a moment. So this trap works, however, I will show you an even better trap in just a moment. So get his attention and start running towards the trap. And as you can see, he is very slow. Even with 100% movement speed, you can do this. So, place the gate and go the other way to close the door. However, this method is a little bit skillful and tricky. Now I will show you a better trap. Take out your dino gate and place it on a flat area, just like so. Then, you want two more on the side. In ASA there would be no reason to not build a trap, since you can just pick it up afterwards so it's literally free. Building this trap will save you a lot of time with the taming process, so we need two more on the front. Be sure that they all are connected to each other, as you notice I struggled a little bit there. Then two more gates on the front and another gate on the front. This one also needs a door. When you open it, you notice it will go inside. We want it the other way around. So go to the menu and select out. So this is the front of the trap and mine any rocks or anything that is in the way. Leave the end of the trap open. Once you located the dino switches that you want to tame, the only thing you need to do now is lure it towards the tap. But for this to be effective, you need to pay attention and keep watching. Once you are close, turn around and aim for the center so he does not go around the trap. Then, place a gate. Now, 
simply go to the front and close the door. This will most of the time work, just be aware there is a small chance if you do it not correct that he will go around the trap. Once inside you need to go a little bit away from the tap so he loses the echo. You will be surprised how much faster this is than doing it in the wild. So now that his mouth is open simply go to the side and feed it. The best thing about this method is that even when there is a bunch of dinos nearby the dino switches will do nothing. He will stay on exactly this location making you tame it super fast. And there you go, only about 30 seconds later, the second feeding. So this will be extremely quick. A few moments later. So instead of following it around, having to watch it kill everything on the entire map, simply build this easy trap and tame it quick. <laughs> 